Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Matt LTV Toy Reviews, and today I will be reviewing the Terrorhawks toys by Bandai. Stay on this channel, this is an emergency. So let's start this review with my favourite, an unlikely favourite, uh, it's Hudson the Rolls Royce. A uh, heuristic universal driver with sensory and orbital navigation. Uh, it was uh, in the program a uh, Rolls Royce from the late 1990s that had been upgraded. Uh, it could drive itself and it could change colour. It was painted in chameleon so it could match its surroundings uh, if need be. Um, so let's have a look at this model. Um, so this is the this is the oldest one that I've got. Um, it is showing a little bit of where. Um, the tyres are cracking a little bit, I don't know if they can make that out. It does happen to these quite a lot. Um, you know, the, the, it's from 1983, so you know they're quite old, so it's understandable. Um, the colours uh, just faded a little bit on that one. Uh, this one's in much better condition, but it's got a bit of a mark on the roof. But the tyres are all perfect on that. Uh, NR1 stands for Nine Steins Roller 1, uh, which was the number plate. Uh, Einstein being the main character, Tiger Einstein, one of nine clones in charge of the Terror Hawks organization. Um, it doesn't really do much, this. All it does is it's just basically a pull back and go car. So let's pull it back and let it go. There you go. These are far too expensive to let it go flying off the table. Um, this is a boxed version. Uh, which I was really lucky to get. I paid about, I think I paid about £25 for this. But it was a couple of years ago and they have gone up considerably in price since then. Um, let's have a look at the back. Nice artwork on the cards. Um, there you go. Uh, that's Hudson. There were other uh, vehicles available in this blister pack style. Uh, but I, I don't have any of those. Um, but yeah. Kind of my favourite. I don't know why. Um, but that was Hudson. There you go. And here's the next Terra Hawk ship, Tree Hawk, so called because it launched from a tree vertically and then flew horizontally to Space Hawk. So this toy is really, it doesn't do an awful lot. Um, it's got little landing gear that comes down, but it's really fiddly uh, and they do break off quite easily. Um, the front nose cone does extend, which I'll show you, there you go. Um, like in the TV show, and these wings do go up. Uh, the wing tips do fold down as well, and there is place for some missiles underneath, but I don't have any. Um, there should be two extra fins on, one on this side and one on that side, and unfortunately one of them had snapped off, so. I just rubbed it down and tea cutted it to smooth it out. And to be honest, when these are down, you can't really see. It's not that noticeable. Um, but you know, it's a, this toy, the Hudson toys are all plastic. This is a mixture of die cast and plastic, but it's it's still quite flimsy, flimsily made. Um, you know, you don't really see a lot of any of these toys anymore. Um, that aren't boxed because they, they just basically just fall to pieces. Um, you know, they're really fragile. But that was Treehawk. So here's the next Terrorhawk ship Hawkwing. Not the band, the Terrorhawk ship. Uh, this was flown by Kate Kestrel and Hawkeye. Uh, Kate Kestrel was the, the singer in the TV program. Um, she did have a single out called SOS that was pretty good, uh, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, this part was Kate Kestrel's part, this part was Hawkeye's. Um, these do separate, I will show you. There you go. So that was Kate Kestrel's. Um, it does have some wings that come out. I'll just press the button really carefully. There we go. It's so fragile, these toys. 
Um, let's have a look underneath. The the landing gear uh, breaks off. The wings break. Those break off. Um, on this, these winglets are really loose. Um, this side's not too bad, but that side's pretty bad to be honest. Um, but it's complete and it's in pretty good condition. So I'm glad that I've got it. Um, but a really difficult toy to find these days now uh, because it's just so fragile, because it's all made of plastic. It's just really cheap. Um, so let's put it back together again and we'll see what it looks like complete again. There you go. So that's Hawkwing. Uh, I can put those down like that, actually. Mark a bit better. There we go. But a really cool ship. Uh, but very, very fragile. Uh, so that was Hawkwing. Right. I've cleared some space. Uh, and now we're going to have a look at the mighty Battlehawk. That's just flopped. So this is the beast that is Battlehawk. Uh, really difficult to get hold of. I bought this probably about eight years ago, I think, uh, and I paid about thirty pounds for it. These go for uh, hundred, hundred and thirty pounds now. Um, but when I show you all the features about it and what it does. Uh, you'll understand why, because it is, it's a really cool toy. Uh, so let's get it out of the box and have a look. So, again, with all these Terrahawks toys, it's really fragile. Um, you know, there's so much things that could break off. Uh, those, the landing gear, those. Um, this gets lost. Uh, the Terrahawk, uh, the ship and also the uh, battle tank gets lost as well um, but let's have a look at it and see what it does uh, so the front of the ship opens up and there's a little ramp that comes out if I can get it out there we go and in the TV series uh, this is where Hudson would go in uh, through the front of the ship, uh, so that just clicks back into place. There we go. Um, this Terrahawk does fire off. It does come off, like that, and it's got some landing gear, and the wings do flip up like that, which is kind of cool. Uh, as you can probably tell, I'm being really careful with this. Um, you can shoot that off, but I'm not doing it. Uh, if you want to watch a review of somebody doing that, go somewhere else. Um, so the back of the ship does open. You just press that in and it should come down. I might have to use both hands. Bear with me. I did have to use both hands. Um, so that opens up. You just push that across and that opens up and it's like a, a loading bear. Um, so that's that. Let's fold that back up again, carefully. Um, there is a really elaborate <laughs> mechanism for putting this underneath it. I'll take that out just for the time being. But what you can do is that battle tank fits in there uh, and these close over the sides so it's held in place. This won't hold it in place. Um, there's also a little winch uh, tap, uh, like a crane inside uh, that you can uh, hang the battle tank off which I will attempt to show you uh, but it's really flimsy 
and very fragile toy this uh, so bear with me and I will try and show you there you go and that's uh, the battle tank hanging from battle hawk so I will just take that off so there we have battle hawk um, a really fragile uh, delicate toy that I Really don't like getting out of the box, but I thought I'd do it just for this video. So that's Terra Hawk there. I can have a look, and there we go. So worth getting, but I keep it in the box. Okay. So these are the instructions for Battle Hawk um, that I'll show you. As you can see, a uh, battle tank is supposed to go in there, but it's really tricky to do. Um, there is some specifications as well for Battle Hawk from the TV program. Um, there you go. Uh, it says, controlled from the flight deck within the Terror Hawk, the Battle Hawk is the flagship of the fleet. It is a giant transport craft that can drop and recover battle tank in flight and carries its own awesome firepower. The Terra Hawk can operate as an integral part of the Battle Hawk or on its own. The Battle Hawk from a horizon, sorry, horizontal <laughs> position at the base of its launch tower begins to lift its nose until it is standing vertically. The fire door is open as the photon drive explodes into action and the Battle Hawk slowly climbs at increasing speed. The White House front swings forward and the roof opens as the Battle Hawk bursts out of the launch shaft to climb skywards. Yep, it was housed underneath a White House. Uh, that was the secret uh, launch uh, area of Battle Hawk. Um, so there you go. He's back in his box. I can breathe again. Uh, and that was Battle Hawk. Uh, also, I have got this, which is a cardboard push out uh, Zelda's base, uh, which I haven't pushed out. Uh, there you go. That came with it too, which is kind of cool. Um, so what I might do is I might copy that uh, and copy it on card and then actually make it. Uh, but I won't be using this one. Um, so that was that was Battle Hawk. Those were the Terror Hawks toys. Uh, thank you for staying on this channel. Uh, this channel being Matt LTV Toy Reviews. Um, if you like the video, please like it. If you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, just click the subscribe bell. And uh, hopefully uh, I'll do another video soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.